So I need a rolling pin. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go to Urban Ore, which is this really cool used place and they have so much stuff, it's crazy. Is this a kid rolling pin? <laughs> I feel like there's a better rolling pin out there for me. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wow, so it looks like they have multiple options. You know what, I think I'm gonna hold off on the rolling pin. That's not the one for me. Bitch! <laughs> I kinda want one of those just like wood, where it's just like solid wood one. And I think I wanna just make a little pumpkin oat cake for for Thanksgiving, just like a little one for John and me because he's gluten free and I don't eat refined flour, refined sugar, so I can make a little one for us. But I wanted pumpkin pie spice because if I bought like all the spices, it would be like really expensive. All right, I'm gonna go look for some pumpkin pie spice and I, um, maybe I'll go to Sprouts, see if they have it there. Sprouts has failed me. What is going on? Well, my friends, I'm happy to report Whole Foods did not fail me. I generally don't buy their spice brand spices anymore because I read something about some of their spices and it was kind of unfavorable. All right, so the footage from this video was filmed previously to this moment that I'm in right now. As you can see, there is no more bruise. These are my lips. It's been like two weeks since I went and got the top lip, got the dissolver. And I just wanna say, I'm so glad I did. Oh my goodness, I feel so much better without like this big protruding hard like fake lip. <laughs> yes, definitely wonderful decision. I'm all for people doing whatever they want, but if she feels so much better and um, she didn't want to have big lips or whatever, they they did look kind of weird because they weren't done right. So I I'm glad she got them dissolved. I'm not going to go get them dissolved. It just costs money and there's just no need. So I'm not planning on ever getting lip injections again. So I'm just going to let these do their thing and then whatever. Hey guys, so yummy tea with my transformative butterfly mug. Basically, there are some things in here that just are not working for me. I'll show you what I mean and why it's not working for me. Um, the desk was left in here by the previous tenant and it's really been great and it's worked out well, but it's such a gigantic desk in such a little room. I just feel like it could be better. We'll see. For now, we're shifting things around and then everything, basically, it's gonna be a kerfuffle. There's carpet here, and then above the carpet we have this rug, and this isn't just like a regular rug, it's like super thick, and being a person who grew up sleeping on futons, which are relatively hard anyways. Look, I'm, I'm not a germaphobe by any means, and I, if, if you have some kind of depression or something and you don't feel like cleaning, I understand. But she looks like she's, you know, she's doing well. I just don't understand why her rugs are so filthy. They're always dirty, no matter what. When she lived at her parent in her parents' house, her rugs were disgusting, like really bad. Um, she's a clean person as far as everything else, so I'm not understanding why she's not vacuuming. Like you can see here, the the the, the dirt coming out of the rug. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, let me shut up. Let's keep going. With this rug on top of the carpet and then just the blankets that I was laying on, like it was enough for me. I don't know. But this has definitely been a game changer for me. I actually have somewhere to like hang out now, you know? I can sit here. So over here I have this carpet as well as this, which is like a circular yoga mat. And they just always get bunched up and I like unbunch them and I move the yoga mat, but it just always gets bunched up. And there's just something about the feeling of the bunched up carpet that just doesn't feel so good in this space.
Um, I got a comment on my last video which gave me a little chuckle and I thought I could make a little update video for you guys for anyone who is curious. The short answer is no. I'm not dating anyone. I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not even looking for anyone. I've kind of come to this place where I honestly don't even care <laughs> if I ever meet anyone. I was married uh, for a couple years, but that's it, you know what I mean? Besides that, I basically dated some people here and there, but never had like a long-term uh, relationship since I was a teenager. So it's just me guys, I'm just single. I was walking down the street close to my house and I walked by this guy and he like stopped and turned and he was on his skateboard and he had like this loaf of bread. And he was like, hey, and I was like, hey. <laughs> And he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, well, I'm, I'm headed to this uh, cafe. I'm just going for a walk right now. I like to walk in the neighborhood. And he was like, oh. And he was like, uh, do you need any bread? I was like, no, I don't. He was like, well, I'm headed out to give this to someone. I was like, oh, that's cool. And he was like, you live in the neighborhood? I was like, yeah, I live pretty close. And he was like, we're looking for a roommate right now. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I kind of signed a lease and everything, so I'm pretty, I'm not gonna move in. <laughs> he was like, that's cool. And then he was like, uh, can I get your number? And I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, he was like, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, ah, I'm kind of busy tonight. And he's like, how about this weekend? And I was like, well, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> and then, you know, we went our separate ways. And then he uh, texted me something like, I hope you're having a good weekend. I was like, thanks so much, you too. And then the next time he tried to contact me, he was like, can I call you? And I'm like, why? <laughs> I feel like if a guy really wants my attention, uh, he'll be like, can I take you out? You know what I mean? I feel like I had the vibes that this dude just wanted to like meet at a bar or something. I don't know, I didn't even really give him the chance to uh, tell me. You. But then, <laughs> texted me, I've been looking for the girl next door to date here forever it seems. I think they all hide inside. I was like, well, good luck on your endeavor. I'm not sure if I'm your girl next door. <laughs> I guess we will see. But yeah, I kind of was just getting the vibes that like, he was asking out anyone he could think of and just like to do meet at a bar or something, like not treat anyone like really special. But then, okay, so I was at the grocery store and I don't think he recognized me because I saw him looking at me and I was at the fruit and I was like, does he recognize me? Does he know I'm the same person? But then he didn't say anything, but like I could see him like looking at me. So then I walked away and then I was in this other part of the grocery store and he comes up to me again and he was like, Hi, and I was like, hi, and he was like, so where are you from? And I was like thinking in my head, I don't think he recognizes me, but I was just like, I actually don't feel like talking right now just because I was just not feeling it by that point in time. <laughs> but basically, that's been my first encounter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my lips with this lipstick, I, I feel like I look like, um. <laughs> The Joker. Do I look like the Joker? I kind of like my hair like this. It's like a mud. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? When I was traveling in Africa, I got this healing from this witch doctor and he put like all this mud in my hair and I was like, I was feeling it. My eyebrows got all muddy and they were like thick mud brows, but they looked really good. Oh yeah. Say hi to the cats. Ambrose, hello, hello, Momo. Oh my goodness, hello. Oh, Ambrose, I love you, I love you. Hey, Will, how's it going? All right. Hi, bitch. <laughs> 